We're at ringside for a Razor Ramon versus Henry Godwin match for a Raw taping, and you're supposed to interfere, but it's been reported in the stories of history that the referee messed up the count and it had to be redone. When things like that happen, what's it like at ringside and then backstage after the match? Well, so look, it's it's nerve-wracking when something doesn't go as planned out there, and I'll tell you why. People's bodies are on the line. There's two big men, maybe four big men, uh, could be six or ten, tell you the truth, but big men running at each other, and, and now they're lost mentally and don't know how to get back to where they needed to be to begin with, and so... so um, it gets a little chaotic out there, but if somebody can can be the general and kind of stop everybody down and go, okay, do this and do that, and that's that's what happened there. Scott got us, but yeah, we had to do the thing over again. But accidents happen, and the referees in there, just like the talent is, talent screws up all the time. Referees seldom do, but when they do, we get back on track. Excuse me. If they send you back, if you go all the way back and they send you back out there, that's embarrassing as far as the talent goes. But you didn't get it right. You got to get, get out there and we're going to do it again until you get it right. And then we'll show that one on television, you know. Now, in terms of your own career and then having the experience to have seen other people's career, do you feel that having those uh, cluster F moments and things go wrong moments actually help the performer become a better wrestler to overcome in the future by learning from it? A hundred percent. And l listen, if you get if you get some of these guys today off track a little bit, you may as well just hit the hit the ring. You know what I mean? <laughs> hit the ring with with a chair because they, they just it, they just freeze and they don't know what to do. And so if yes, a hundred percent, it makes you a better performer. Things happen in almost every match that you either stumble into something good or you fumble into something not so good or you botch something, which is a made up silly word too, but we use it. Uh, you you bot, botched it, you know what I mean? Um, things happen in almost every match. It's how you, how you can control, it's not what happens, but what you do in response. Does that make sense? It's not what happens with a mistake that's made. It's how you react to it and, and or respond to it. Hopefully you can respond to it and not react to it. But that's what a lot of guys do. I'll never forget, I was working in Germany with a guy named August Smiesel. And he was the uh, uh, Kung Fu champion of Germany, mind you. And he was a bodybuilder. And he was an Austrian strongman. And he was like a huge mountain of an Austrian man. We messed up a spot in our match. And he just grabbed me and started judo throwing me all over the ring, all because he didn't. He messed up, and he's so big and strong that I couldn't stop him from doing it. So we just now I just I'm getting thrown around like a rag doll, and then I ended up running around the ring away from him to get away from him. Um, but but that he messed up and he didn't know what else to do. And I've been there too. Mess up and you go, oh God, what do I do now? Oh, I'll just hit the other guy really hard. Yeah, that helps. That, that helps everything. Get we, we're right back on track now. Uh, but interesting story about August Smeasel. You should look him up. We will do a little research. Go to the YouTube. Go to the wiki. Do your homework. Come back to us next week with, with some questions.